All right, guys, technique of the week. I'm today with my friend Shuki Dreyer from Mixed Defense Tactics. Well, I'm not going to introduce him because you know him, okay? I, he's all the time with me on the video. So we're going to show some... What are we going to do today? We can do one, uh, <clears throat> one technique um, with straight, straight tra traveling stab, meaning somebody is fully committed and going all the way in. And then we can do one when somebody is coming to grab you from the back, either grabbing your hands or whatever with a knife to cut your neck. We can do two different ones. Okay. Um, the first ones, first we have to understand something. Most of those techniques come from a simple concept of an open close, either high or low. Regardless to what it is, each time our hands interact with the incoming with the hands by opening and closing. It may be that my hands in, from the high lines perspective is coming and I'm closing. I went from open to close. My second hands went from either close to open, regardless to what it is. In each single time, my hands will continue open and close. I'm opening and closing. And this is how I set myself. Even if you went down from here, I'm still opening and closing. Regardless to what it is, it's opening and closing. I'm open, I close, I'm open, I'm closing and I'm opening again. So it's consistently opening and waving and opening and closing and opening. Awesome. For this, the sense of high or low is depending on the attack. If you remember, we worked in the past, what it's called hubad, where the hand, you can use it with the, hand, with, the, with the knife or with the empty hands, where I redirect the weapon hands to another location, I control the hands and I may strike or I may trap the hands. Right. You remember that one. That's from the high line perspective. I'll show it again, I move around, I, I trap that and I punch it. I try to destroy and control the weapon. Yeah, he, he will, Regardless he to will what go, it is, like, I'll ah, trap it ah, and I will lock it up. Regardless to what it is. Now, yes, it takes a lot of knowledge and experience to pull up this kind of a technique. The simplest possible when you're ending up redirecting it is you want to control it. Remember, disarming is something very difficult. Right. It's already in your face. You, you redirect it. And between the flow, the possibility may occur. You trap, you control the weapon hands. Then you mm. start destroying. You're punching as hard as you can. Then you go back to the weapon until you puta, figure a way puta, eh? to disarm. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy as hard as you can. <laughs> Destroy as much as you can. So, in between the flow, moving away. Because you don't have a way to run. Right. In between flow, you see the opportunity. You strike. You control it. You control it. Regardless right. to what it is. You control it. You get to the point that you control, and then you start destroying. Destroying as hard as you can. The technique that we're going to use right now will be the exact same ideas, only this time it's straight thrust. A thrust which is a very common. Now, there's a different way of stabbing or thrusting. One that is a quick motion from a close distance and that's a repeatable. That would not be an ideal to do. If this is a repeatable, you do not have the chance to actually go along and travel it because it's, it's somebody that's coming in quickly moving. That's a different technique to a different time. This one is a fully commit someone that travel and going in. Travel and is going in exactly. That's what it is. It's a full committed stab right. in. Not pulling back and going back and forth. Awesome. So, the first, let's turn around. The first hands that travel is, remember, I'm in open positions. The first hands is my outside hands. As my body moves and this travel, my second hands come behind it and pass it through. This is the first motions. So Jago is going to start slow, try to actually travel. As fast as Jago go, as easy as for you, for me. Jago, yeah. I need you to actually Full, remember, it's going straight in. That's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what's going to end up happening. Slow motion, so they can see it. That's the slow motion. Right here, I'm in a reference point of what I would like to engage with. It could be different possibilities. I may go after the hands, or as he travel, he move right in. 
Ah. Get the control. If I need to, the hands, I'll hit the hands ah. until the knife is removed. And I keep to a place where I'm a little bit more comfortable. So what's the choice as you're getting away from the stab? Okay, you, we, we finished today. You, I hope you understand <laughs> the technique. <laughs> so once again, as this is traveling, it's one, two. And remember, you go try harder as you can. Yeah, you deflect, it's like a way. Sorry it's for very interrupt. hard. As soon as you cut the line of motion. I'm cutting the line, correct. That's it. Now, that's all what I'm doing. <laughs> it's all different way for me to handle it. It's exactly the same that if a knife coming from the opposite side and I reflect it, one, two. I see the knife coming from this side, one, two. I'm opening and closing. Now I have a way to control it. Mm. Now I have a way to control it. Mm. I have a way to control ah. it. I have, I have a way to control it. I have a way to continue with all different strikes to mitigate and work my way to control Diego. Good. So the last is traveling slow. I move my body out of the way. I cut the line. I cut. Now I'm not aiming to grab. I'm not aiming to a specific spot. All what I'm doing is dropping my both hands. My both hands dropping. This is also important to mention. It's instinctive reactions. Right. Lifting my hands up, this is a fine motor skill. It's my brain is thinking. If you don't believe me, try to hold your hands for too long and have conversation. Yeah. They're gonna drop. Right. Dropping the hands doesn't require thought. So You're when right. I'm reacting to this, that dropping of the hands is going to succeed no matter what. Or what I'm doing, I'm opening, I'm closing, I'm opening, I'm waving, I'm closing. Cutting the lines and moving the body out of the way. And also, this is not my hands capturing the incoming. As my body, always, as my body retreat, my hands catch up. Keep traveling towards me. My body retreat, my hands catch. If I lead with my hands, guess what? My body is too slow. So if I move my body fast, keep traveling, please. If I move my body fast enough, my hands will catch up the distance easily. Always remember, move with your body, your hands follow. That's a real. Bueno, I teach how to hit harder with the hook, throw the hand, open the legs, move the body, and the hands follow. Here we go. In sport, if you lead with your hands, it's okay. Why? What's the worst can happen? You yeah. got punched. In real life confrontation, no. you lead with your hands and you make a mistake and your body left behind, Boom. you get stopped. That's yeah. the difference between what we talked before, martial arts and real life exactly. situations of combat, thinking like a warrior. I got a wee out of line of strike, pierced. I don't want my, body, my stomach to be pierced no. or out of line of cut. Same, same rules of guns, out of line of fire, come before the rest of the technique. Of if you start with the hands technique before out of line of fire, yeah. you play 50-50. Okay? Yes, That's the technique number one. Okay. Hope you enjoy and we have more for, with Shugi, okay? So next week on a couple more, we're gonna have another, another technique of the week with the master here. Thank you. See you next time. Bye, guys.